Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Secondhand Opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, the internet's favorite fat mouth badass, bringing you fast stacks of fuck facts. <laughs> Turd Wheeler is so full of shit, he opened his mouth today and spewed it everywhere. President Trump, for four years, we've had to live with you, and now you're attacking Democratic mayors and the very institutions of democracy that have served this nation well since its founding. Do you seriously wonder, Mr. President, why this is the first time in decades that America has seen this level of violence? It's you. One death is one death too many. Just one, huh? Maybe you need a little reminder, buddy. Hey, what's up everyone? Donut here. Don't worry, you don't have to look at my big stupid mustache this entire video. I just wanted to throw a compilation together of videos that I found today showing protesters at the Trump inauguration. Hate Donald Trump or love Donald Trump, it doesn't matter. People shouldn't be acting like this. mother of a Portland activist who was killed over the weekend talked about his death. Police say her son, Sean Kellier, was killed. Investigators say his death is connected to evidence of gunfire found at this scene and this SUV, which crashed into the Democratic Party of Oregon office early Saturday morning. A family in North Portland has been shaken by gunfire that ripped through their living room early this morning. Bullets landed just over their heads of three young children, and the panic moments that followed were caught on camera. Yes, I was stabbed by a known Antifa member by the name of Blake Hamp. Um, I was, I feel like I was, I feel like I was stabbed and, um, or targeted specifically due to my location being docs about me being here inside of Portland. Police have named a suspect in a violent assault that happened in downtown Portland Sunday night. Investigators say they're looking for 25-year-old Marquise Love. In their initial report, police said it appeared a group of people followed a man and attacked him downtown. Fox 12's Drew Marine brings us the latest on this investigation. An Antifa activist sentenced to nearly six years in jail for cracking a man's skull during violent protests in Portland earlier this year. In total, eight people were injured. After 90 days of unrest and protests in the streets of Portland, many are looking to city leaders for solutions to end the nightly violence we're seeing. Mayor Ted Wheeler today addressed some of those concerns in a virtual press conference. And I'd appreciate that either the president support us or he stay the hell out of the way. We would like to be asked by the mayor and the governor. We will go in and stop the problems in Portland in 24 hours, just like we did in Minneapolis. It's you. So which is it, turd? Are you inept and incapable of controlling your city? Or are you inept and is Donald Trump in control of your city? Let's all pretend like our opinions matter. Leave them shits in the comments below. And remember, this is YouTube, so do all the things.